when restrictions are placed on banks by the RBI, it becomes difficult for bank depositors to access their savings, even with deposit insurance in place. Last year, the government hiked the insurance coverage for bank depositors from Rs 1 lakh to Rs 5 lakh. With the amendment well introduced in this session, the government is stipulating a faster timeline for the deposit insurance and credit guarantee cooperation to make payment to the depositors. So in spite of having raised it to 1 lakh and now to 5 lakhs, we want to make sure that within 90 days, depositors get the money so that the small depositors who make up for 98 percent of all depositors will get the money in time that is 90 days. Hi, my name is Sara. In this video, we discuss the DICGC Amendment Bill 2021. But first, a look at how it works today. The DICGC charges banks a premium to insure the deposits and when the bank goes into default, the DICGC steps in and the insured deposit is returned to the bank customers. And the bank in turn then owes this money to the DICGC. Today, the DICGC's liability to pay the depositors comes in only when a liquidator makes a claim on behalf of the depositors. Now, this is a long time for the depositors to wait from the day the restriction is placed to the liquidation stage. To speed this up, the DICGC will now make payments to the depositors within 90 days in those banks where any restrictions are placed, which prevents them from accessing their money. Within the first 45 days, the insured bank must furnish the details of all outstanding deposits to the cooperation. Within 30 days of the receipt of details, the cooperation will verify the authenticity of the claims and check with each depositor if they are willing to receive the insured deposit amount. Within 15 days of the verification, the cooperation must make the payment to such depositors. The insured bank must pay a premium to the DICGC on their deposits. The Act limits the rate of premium for a bank at 0.15% per annum of its total outstanding deposits. The amendment allows the cooperation to increase the maximum limit with the prior approval of the RBI. And with regard to the provision to repay the DICG, as per the Act, the bank must repay within such time as prescribed by the Board of Directors of the Corporation. The bill adds that the Corporation may change this time limit for such period and on such terms as prescribed by the Board through regulations. The Corporation may charge a penal interest for delay in repayments. A full summary of the bill is available in the description box. For more such information on other bills and updates, please visit our website www.prsindia.org